Happy International Women's Day 2021. My name is Joyce Ashwin-Tantang. I'm a poet and professor of English and African literature at the University of Hartford, Connecticut, USA. The general theme for the celebration this year is choose to challenge. I choose to challenge all the societal and cultural norms that place women in opposing camps or constitute barriers to women reaching their full potential. I use my poetry a lot as a, as a space to perform these challenges, uh, so to speak. I will share two poems. Uh, the first is a short one titled uh, Turkish Bath in Phase Morocco. We stood there naked, facing each other, united in our tabooed body parts enveloped in more than the hot steam of a hammam experience. No shared language between us, we spoke with our determined spirits. Her Muslim gray hairs imparting lessons to my Christian black tufts. An old woman bathing a grown woman. Her sponge embarked on a journey, cleaning the tough turf of womanhood scrubbing dead skin from generations of pain. I said thank you with a naked wet embrace, our breasts touching in renewed faith, mocking barriers from a divided world, Christian, Muslim, old, woman, young, woman. I walked out radiant, into a blinding sunlight. Turkish bath in phase Morocco. The next one is titled Next of Kin. It is a poem born from another story that I was told of a younger sibling who was refusing the older sister from inheriting any property because she was a woman. And this is someone who had taken care of him. It's titled Next of Kin. He stands before me not a day taller than my last born. A last attempt of our father's quest to find the next of kin. He stands before me with nothing but his manhood, buoyed by customs not sanctioned by the times. He stands before me announcing my breasts have drawn the line. No land or house will carry my name. I look past him to a sprawling farm of memories. I turn the earth on each ridge with a familiar hoe. He can't remember my vaseline fingers healing his bloated circumcised penis. But should remember my blows on the boy who stole his school lunch and bullied him. I look him over, sorry for a boy hiding behind the man. He is my kin. Anger evades me. I will pass. Next. And I'm going to end with this one, which challenges the expectations that women should keep their emotions in check and their emotions should not be something that should be expressed easily in public. So <laughs> this one is titled Into the Beautiful Fire. I want to come to the forge with you, to see you fashion a new life for me. The tongues of fire licking warm juice from the pores of my body. I want to come to the forge with you, to see your flaming hands sculpt words that travel from my navel, disappearing in that abyss of bliss hidden from sight. Let me faint at your feet in that forge, and fill your mouth breathe life from your rivers. 
pray. Let me come to the forge with you. Measure my sweat with the goblet of your heart. Thank you. Happy International Women's Day. Continue to choose to challenge the stereotypical norms that continue to inhibit women from reaching their full potential. Thank you.